Chase Toyota Insider of the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Brywood alongside April Howdy. And Coach, start off the season pretty well. You go down to Georgia playing their tournament. You come out with a, a couple of wins. you got to feel good coming out of Georgia. Uh, we did. I think we took care of uh, you know the teams that we needed to. Um, of course, disappointed in the Georgia match. I think we could have performed better. But to start 2-1 and one is great. You never know, like I said last week, how it's going to look until you really face another opponent. Yeah, you come out and you beat high point. 3-0, you get the sweep, but looking at the box score, high points are pretty solid club. Those were three fairly close sets. They were, but our, our offense really came out clicking, mm -hmm. which was great to see. And the one thing that I thought was great in all three matches was we really set the tone going into it. Um, we were controlling the games. You know, unfortunately against Georgia, we made a lot of errors, and that kind of gave them, you know, those first two sets. But that was something we emphasized is, you know, establishing what we are as a program and how we want to play, kind of instilling our will on the match. So it's, it was definitely a positive. We didn't sit back and wait and see what they were going to do. We made them kind of adjust to us. And it was good to get the 3-0, 3-0. It gave us a lot of rest, you know, going yeah. into the last match. And you had the Wofford win the next day. You, you come back after the opening season win and the 3-0 loss to Georgia. But you have two wins under your belt. It's always good uh, right. any season. Get that first win under your belt and then move forward. Yeah, and it's a brand new team, so yeah. we're getting a good glimpse here. I think we have some really good pieces, and our girls, in terms of mental fortitude and focus, has been good. Um, I mean, they knew in the Georgia game, like we lost some mental focus. We had a lot of a lot of unforced errors, but they're recognizing those things and what they want to do to improve. And so it's been great. I mean, even scouting report wise, or like what they're paying attention to, we're at a much different level this season than what we've been in the past in terms of they're sort of tuned in to what's mm -hmm. going on. You have the midweek off this week because you're going to go back on the road. You'll go up to Nashville. You'll be in another tournament, familiar opponent, familiar setting. You're going to go to Belmont for their tournament. You'll start it off Friday with a couple of matches. You'll see an old old rival from the, the old conference. You'll see UTEP, and then you'll right. see South Alabama. It's another strong tournament. I mean, all three teams um, you know, played a strong first weekend. So we can't always go based off of the record off the first weekend, you know, where they're really at with it, some close five setters. Yeah. Uh, and Belmont throws a great tournament over there. It's such an easy trip for us, uh, reduced travel. We travel a lot in our conference, so anytime we can take an easy trip <laughs> is a good thing. You'll see the host team Belmont, I guess, on Saturday. Is that right? Yeah, we'll play them for the final match. A little different format. We play two games Friday, mm -hmm. one Saturday. I, I don't mind that when we travel because we're going to be out of school anyway. Um, so we get back, you know, pretty early Saturday, which will be good for recovery kind of going into the following weekend. And it's probably good, too, because a lot of times when you go on the road, the travel the v travel fatigue, even though it's early in the season, hits you that last day. So you play those two matches the day after you get there, you're, you're going really good, and then you only have one match to focus on the last day. Yeah, we played a 10 o'clock game in our, this last weekend, so we're prepared for that because um, those can always go either way, yeah. you know, uh, trying to wake up early and get started. <laughs> But I'm excited for the format in the and the tournament, and hopefully to fix some things we saw last weekend and tweak a few things. And you know, on paper again, we got some really good things going for right. us. It's just continuing to get better week in and week out. And I guess your focus is this weekend, uh, obviously, to win, but have strong performance, keep that momentum going, because then finally you had to come home. Right, and we've uh, if we continue to do well, we get opportunities for. You know other people on the roster to get in yeah. you know, we've explained roles to people and even early on this weekend we're able to get them in those positions and that's what you want you know if you're struggling in a game and you may not feel as comfortable doing that but i felt great to just throw different people in in different scenarios and, and give them a chance we want to do that early um because the last thing we want is conference rolls around and now we're throwing someone in a situation right. they haven't experienced yet so we're able to play both setters we played multiple middles um, we got some people in to do some key serving roles and things along those lines. Um, and I think that's going to pay pay off down the road. Sounds good. Coach, best of luck this weekend. Okay, thank you. Hey, Coach April Haddigy, I'm Jeff Brightwell for the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider of the Memphis Tiger Network.